Hello friends, Purvesh Nanavati here. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Welding Education. Well, well I'm going to speak about uh, welding metallurgy and vendability of nickel based alloys. So, this lecture series is uh, divided into uh, five parts because it is difficult to cover in a single part. So, uh, you will be enjoying this lecture series, I hope. Okay. So, nickel material is having a density of 8.9 gram per cubic centimeter, it is slightly heavier than steel. Nickel has fast centered cubic structure over the complete range of temperature up to its melting point. 1455 degrees Celsius is the melting point, and uh, this structure makes nickel ductile. So, this gamma and structure it's sufficient ductility to the structure of material. Nickel is alloy are not hardenable by quenching, so uh, there is a different strengthening mechanism available that is by precipitation hardening. Nickel is useful engineering material for its corrosion resistance and excellent high temperature properties when appropriately alloyed. Nickel can be readily alloyed with uh, copper, chromium, uh, molybdenum, tungsten and many more such alloying element for um, developing alloys for useful engineering applications. The applications including chemical and petrochemical, plant piping and heat exchangers, food processing equipments, breweries, aero engine parts and so on. Applications demanding high temperature oxidation and creep resistance in aggressive environment Corrosive environment and uh, low temperature cryogenic application. Nickel are very good candidate materials. Nickel based alloys are say, solid solutions alloys or precipitation strengthened alloys. Solution strengthened alloys are nickel copper alloys, monal, nickel chromium, nickel nichrome, nickel iron chromium, nickel inconal, nickel moly, and chrome nickel and precipitation hardening alloys are again uh, onal, nichrome and inconal but their composition are slightly varied and uh, we will see in subsequent slides that there are addition of aluminum and titanium in precipitation hardening alloys to uh, develop the precipitates. Commercial alloys with their trade names Nickel 200 is the pure nickel 99.5 percent in nickel, monol 400 is nickel copper alloy. Solid solution strengthen alloy are inconal 600, 65, hast alloy, inconal 800, 900 series. So these are the uh, commercially available with their trade names. Precipitation hardenable alloys are Vespa alloy and UD made in corners 718 X750 custom made 625 plus. So these alloys are precipitation hardenable alloys uh, known by their trade names. So it is a glance of the applications of uh, nickel copper, nickel chromium, nickel iron chromium alloys. Same way with the precipitation hardening alloys. Nickel copper, nickel chromium, and nickel iron chromium. This is this table provides the uh, nominal composition of the commercially available nickel based alloy, ranging from nickel 200, monol 400, inconal 600, inconal 625, hast alloy C4, hast alloy C22, hast alloy C276, UD made 500, VASP alloy, inconal X750, inconal 700, custom made 625 plus. So, you would see that uh, nickel can be readily alloyed with uh, chromium, moly, uh, niobium, silicon, tungsten, boron to produce a variety of alloys. They are commercially very much useful. Here is the phase diagram for copper nickel system. It is an isomorphous phase diagram. You will see a temperature versus uh, uh, 
weight of copper it's a you will see a complete solid solubility of uh, copper in nickel here is a nickel chromium diagram you will see that uh, at around 1345 degrees celsius there is a highest solubility of crop chromium in nickel is 51 weight percentage and this makes the steel sorry this makes the chromium sorry nickel based alloy corrosion resistance because this uh, when chromium is alloyed with nickel it forms cr2o3 film uh, protective passive film on the material so they become corrosion resistance here is the ternary phase diagram of nickel iron and chromium it's an isoplate or a cro vertical cross section of the ternary phase diagram of nickel iron and chromium system you will see the blue region where popularly or commercially oilable grades are accommodated and the structure is gamma ion structure here is the this table provides information on the some commercially available grade and their uh, type of strengthening mechanisms monal foreign dead nickel mnemonic 75 brighter alloy nickel moly master alloy b2 so here in this diagram you would see a uh, alloy development with a nickel contribution in weight percentage you see a austenitic stainless steel or the stainless steel containing nickel ranging from 10 to 22 percent austenitic duplex then comes the super austenitic range where you have a 25 to say 45 percentage then you have a commercial available grade nickel based alloy like alloy 600 625 c26 c22 and mnemonic alloys where as much as 80 percent of nickel is available and the commercially pure nickel or low alloy alloy 200 99 port nickel is on the top and here you see the application of this specific alloys so this is a summary of the composition of uh, solid solution strengthen alloys chrome moly and tungsten and precipitation hardened alloys known as super alloys sometimes so here is the chemical composition at a glance and these are the applications you will see the application demanding high temperature creep resistance and uh, low temperature cryogenic applications and of course the uh, nickel base alloy as a filler material or as a base material also used for the transition joint between carbon steel and stainless steels and for the corrosion protection that use that to be cladded over the steel now in our next class we will discuss the effect of alloying elements in nickel base alloy so uh, keep watching thank you very much i hope you have enjoyed this first lecture on the nickel base alloy introduction to nickel base alloy thank you very much for watching